Tonight, the Jefferson City Council voted to keep its property tax rate the same after two days of discussion. ABC 17's Layla Mitchell is live from Jefferson City tonight. Layla, the councilman who wanted to lower the tax rate actually gave up that request tonight. Yeah, Lucas, Ward 3 Councilman Scott Spencer wanted to t discuss lowering the property tax rate, saying it's only fair to the taxpayer. But after learning that this year might not be the best year to lower it, he changed his mind, but said it is still important to him. We must continue to look through thoroughly at ways and opportunities to cut taxes and put money back into the taxpayer's possession. I want to make my intentions clear that if I'm reelected, my commitment will be to pursue this issue earlier and have a more broader approach with discussions and possible solutions for the course of the year. One main concern and reason for Spencer's forfeit was if council takes a voluntary property tax rate reduction this year for the 2023 fiscal year, there is no telling if council could raise the rate back to what it is currently at, which is 46 cents for every $100 of value. It is also not clear how low the rate would drop. Spencer said although this was his reason for changing his mind, he doesn't believe it should be the sole purpose to stop council in the future from lowering the property tax rate. Jefferson City Mayor Kerry Turgeon was against lowering the, race, the rate and said it isn't the sole purpose and there are other factors, like some staff positions could get cut. Part of the reason or part of your proposal with the uh, savings would be to reduce staff positions and I was concerned that that would also reduce the level of service to the citizens. So I want to make it clear, just in case anyone missed the Monday night meeting, that that was not the sole purpose when you mentioned And council could have more luck lowering the rate in the 2023 fiscal year and if they take action earlier on. For now, reporting live in Jefferson City, Layla Mitchell, ABC 17 News. All right, Layla, thank you. The Jefferson City School District and Central.